and what is going on you guys welcome back to another text chainsaw massacre of the game video we have shirtless johnny and bridal sissy and i'm actually kind of stoked for these even though they're you know it's it's free and you know it, it's not like super super duper big like map character you know killer victim whatever uh, you know, this is just skins, but these skins are free, and that does count because I think these skins are pretty good. They're better than the ones you have to pay for, and a little bit better than the one that we had defaulted on. So it's good to see some, you know, different skins, different customization for these two original characters made by Gun Media, and they're free. So I, I you can't stress that enough. Johnny looks pretty dope. He's got some scars and shit. Bridal Sissy's got blood, and her gown looks pretty awesome. Could've been a little bit more, but whatever, you know, I'll take it. But something I want to go ahead and talk about is, you know, what you do have to pay for, which is these weapon variants. And I don't even like to say weapon variants because they're just different colors. They're the same weapon, just different colors, you know? And it's kind of like the same thing with the bloody, you know... Man, I'm not paying for you to throw blood on them or for it to be a different color that's actual money you know these are things that could have been earned through gaining xp and levels you know this is not something that people should have to pay actual money for i just disagree with this whole thing you know and i'm not trying to keep hinting and saying that but you know i don't know what more else to you know say when when they're trying literally it's the same thing not even a different style different whatever you know it's just different color i don't know kind of sucks but anyway back to shirtless johnny back to bridal sissy looks like these guys are actually pretty awesome in action most johnnies that are shirtless are pretty hardcore i just want to go ahead and show because most of the time as in the last video this little hiding spot works but more shirtless Johnnies are coming out and, and I'm not gonna lie you know some of these are just depending on the player and you know, how you know if you're able to look in the shadows and keep an eye for certain things but I thought this was super funny super cool and definitely good gameplay to show for Johnny and I like bridal sissy don't get me wrong but I feel like on the bridal aspect could have been a little bit more like I was not expecting scars on Johnny but with the bride you know you're expecting the gown you're expecting you, you kind of just get the dress that's all you get you don't get the you know headpiece the additional stuff with the gown you just kind of get this dress and it's awesome and it looks pretty good it's it's actually authentic for the time period and the style i do like that god media did do a pretty good with this and one thing i really do like about it is when you get blood on shirtless johnny and shirt and um you know not shirtless sissy sorry a uh, bridal sissy you get more blood and i kind of like maybe that's just something that they've been doing you know because i do notice it right here on hitchhiker but that's another reason why i don't want to have to buy the bloodied skins because now the blood that you actually get from killing the victims is on you and stays on you and can progress so i think that's pretty cool again did not expect these scars for johnny didn't ex i mean you know i kind of just imagine this big muscular rip you know mostly main for the women and you know people that like big muscular men and stuff like that you know I'm definitely not that's not my taste but I kind of like it even though that I probably I didn't I went into this not thinking I was gonna like it at all and I actually like how they did it I like how the blood mixes with it I like the scars it's realistic towards the story and how he's developed as this original gun media character so that's super awesome and they did really good there but the only thing that I think they could do better on is the weapons if I'm gonna have to pay for a weapon let it be a different weapon give me instead of this barber cleaver or this you know farm fucking knife you know give me a sickle give me a you know a rake give me something else that I can use as a actual different weapon you know and supposed to something that's just the same weapon a different color maybe some blood on it platinum here so on and so forth you know i can't stress that enough and just because we like to customize and make these killers feel like they were unique one thing that ilphonic did so well predator hunting grounds is that predator that you had felt so unique it felt like it was yours you could create your endless idea of predators this game is very not much like that you only get a few things here and there 
and the few things that you do get, people are gonna use. So I'm sure that you'll see more bridal and more shirtless Johnny since it's free and most people are gonna wanna exercise the things that they can get for free in this game. Because most of the things that you have to pay for, literally you could have ganged and earned through XP. <laughs> And the reason I say that is because back in Friday the 13th, even in their single player mode, they had it to where you could gain and earn these bloodied skins and these other, you know, variants and things, and colors and outfits, you know, they, they're not doing it here. And I don't know why, you know, I get it, you know, maybe it's, you know, licensing or, you know, making money and blah, 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 whatever. Things that are not the customer's problem, nor should they have to think about. But on this other aspect, when they delivered this right here, I, I was I, this is the only thing that's got me really hyped in the last, I don't know, couple months. You know, so the last update that we had that I thought was all right was, you know, the Nancy, Nancy's house, and Danny. And yeah, I bought Danny, and, and you did what Danny did, and, and I liked it, and it was fun. You know, I didn't buy Nancy, I still haven't, and I don't know if I am going to buy her, you know, I just don't have an interest in it. You know, you've got to make me want to get this, you've got to get me as a customer wanting to get this, you know. And the only thing I might have actually paid money for was these two skins right here. And I know that's silly, it's like, oh, well, Pete Willie, why are you going to pay for these skins and you're not going to pay for Nicotera Leatherface? Well, it's because they had an audio bug on Nicotera Leatherface, which automatically makes it a pay to play. And I just think that for Nicotero, if you're going to have a guy with a half mask, you could have threw on a beard. Man, I don't know. I just, from the sense I looked at it, I just, I felt like he was goofy. I never really liked it. It just wasn't for me. So, um... You know, and, and I think that audio bug sucks. And they are fixing it. You know, finally they've announced that they're fixing it, so we'll, we'll see. Hopefully that gets fixed. They, I, I think they said they're coming out with an update or might have already had an update, but, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to be very picky and choosy with what I buy. And that being said, I would have bought these. I, I, I like what I see here. And I'm glad that they're free. And I'm glad that maybe we should start seeing more free things because, you know, a lot of this, again, could be earned through XP and leveling up and just, you know, playing the game in general. You know what I'm saying? Um, if this doesn't happen, I can see that this game probably won't last longer than a few years. And then what was the money that you paid for? Was it worth a few years? You know, so that's, that's something you got to outweigh and ask yourself. And, and I've been down this road, so that's why I'm asking myself currently. But other than that, I really like it. I've been playing Johnny Sissy more. I've been enjoying and leveling them up and I've learned quite a few things and I think that's a big thing in this so I don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments below thank you so much for tuning in I'm definitely excited to see some more stuff for Sissy and Johnny keep adding more stuff for Sissy and Johnny they're shining they're looking great stay awesome guys